Welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack. Tonight we're talking about the Motorola R7. Did you know that on this radio you can actually customize your welcome image that appears when you turn on the radio? That's what we're talking about tonight. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Now, if you're wondering why I made this video, there is a very specific RGB color profile setting you have to use for this to work on your R7. So if you've been trying and haven't been successful, I have the answer for you. So let's get into this. Uh, let's go up to File, New. And by the way, I'm using GIMP. GIMP is like a free version of Photoshop. And all the links to all the stuff that I'm using will be down in the description below so you can easily find it. The first thing we want to do is make a uh, format that is the right resolution for the screen on the Motorola R7. So the screen resolution is uh, 240 pixels wide by 320 pixels or PX tall. Go ahead and drop open advanced options. Make sure you are set for a RGB color space. And then under precision, go ahead and drop down to a 16-bit integer for precision. Once you have those settings set, go ahead and click on OK. Now, if you take a look at this, this looks like the right uh, dimensions for the Motorola R7 screen. So I think we're on the right track. The next thing you want to do is you can design this as of this point, however you want. I want to put in a logo. So I'm going to grab something that I'm using elsewhere on the web. It's this. So I'm just going to make a couple of quick adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and do a selection. I just want to grab this part of the uh, file. So I'm going to go to image. I'm going to do crop to selection. Now I'm taking a look at this, it's 455 wide. So I already know it's too big. I'm going to want to shrink it down and be just a touch smaller. So what I'm going to want to do from here is I'm going to go to scale image under image. Uh, and I'm going to drop this down to uh, probably 250. It's going to be probably a good width. Uh, that should make it look really nice on that screen for the R7. I'm going to click on scale. From there, I'm going to go to edit and copy. You can also do control C if you're a fancy uh, you know, computer shortcut person. And then what I'm going to want to do once I get it in here is uh, actually before I even get it in, let's paint this because I want the black background to remain what is actually being used. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this using the paintbrush and just make it black. There we go. Make sure everything is filled in. Just a regular Picasso here. All right, I think that's everything. So I got a nice solid black background using the paintbrush tool that you see here in the upper left corner. And of course, you can change your color by clicking the square here. Uh, and that's how you set your color. You can see it's set for black. So now that I've done that, I have my background matching the image I just uh, captured. I'm going to go ahead and paste by going to edit and paste. Hey, there we go. All right. I got it uh, in there. And it looks like I got the size just about dead on. Uh, it's probably going to be perfect for what I need. All right. So I'm just going to center it, make sure it looks good like the way it looks. Yep, that looks good. All right. I'm going to go to file now and I'm going to go to export as. So now here's where it gets critical. So I'm going to save this under my documents folder. I'm going to go ahead and save it as uh, Motorola R7 Welcome dot BMP, Bravo Mike Papa. That's very crucial. You can't use a JPEG or anything else. It has to be a dot BMP file. Very, very important. I'm going to go ahead and click on export. And this is where things get really important. When you get to this screen, export image as BMP, you're going to want to go ahead and drop open your advanced options. You're going to want to make sure you select 16 bit R5 G6 B5, the first option. If you don't select this under advanced, even if it is a BMP, it will not work. It needs to be 16 bit R5 G6 B5. Go ahead and click on export. All right, that's it. We're done. I have the file in my documents folder. Now let's open up the Motorola CPS and get it loaded up. I've got my code plug open and I got the radio red. So once you're at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and drop down to general, open up that folder. And the very first option is welcome bitmap. You'll see I don't have anything in here right now. So I'm going to go to select. Uh, here's the file we created, Motorola R7 welcome. I'm going to select it, hit open, and it should pop it in here to the screen. Once I'm at this point, I'm simply going to write to the radio. And now it's just a waiting game. Did it actually work? All right, let's see if it actually works. So here we have our radio hooked up to the programming cable. Let's go ahead and remove the programming cable here. There we 
go and let's power cycle the radio and see what we got. All right, so there is the first Motorola screen for you. And are we going to see the K0 LWC logo? All right, there it is. Boy, that looks good. That was actually really, really good. So um, hopefully this video is helpful for you. If there's still something you can't figure out, drop me a comment down below. I'm happy to help you and answer any questions, um, but hopefully this is gonna make it super easy for you. If you're not following me on Twitter or on Instagram, at K0LWC, I'll catch you again next time.